The question is, what is a Bitcoin address? Okay, a Bitcoin address, I guess you could think of it a bit like a, a bank account uh, number, but it's much more than that. It's essentially um, an identifier, uh, a public identifier for your Bitcoin wallet. And unlike a bank account, you can have an unlimited number of Bitcoin addresses attached to a particular wallet. But to make this clear, let me just show you a few of my wallets and show you what a Bitcoin address is. Okay, here we're looking at blockchain. This is one of the popular web-based wallets, um, which doesn't require any ID or verification, and where you can, can control, can, regain control over your own keys. So, looking at this home page of my wallet, you'll see that uh, it's got a wallet home, and over here, you'll see it's got a QR code, which if scanned, will bring up a Bitcoin address. And here is the actual Bitcoin address here. So, for example, if I wanted to have someone pay me to this particular wallet, I would use this primary address, give it to them, and they would um, then use that to send Bitcoin to me. If they had a mobile phone, they could scan this QR code, and that would actually produce the same Bitcoin address. But let's just look at a couple more. Here's a, a desktop wallet of mine, Electrum, one of my favorites. And... Um, the interface is a bit different, but it works very similar. What you're looking at now is the transaction page. But if I want to receive Bitcoins, I need to give somebody a Bitcoin address. Here you will notice I have a few different addresses. I can, I can copy any of these, like this, say here, you know, copy to clipboard. Or I can convert it into a QR code, like that, and copy that. Um, give that to somebody and those funds will arrive in my Electrum address. And then one more, one more wallet to uh, complete this. Here's another, a very good um, web-based wallet, CoinKite. Now I'm just on the uh, home page here of my CoinKite account. And if you look along here, uh, along here you'll see balances, send, receive, so forth. To send, of course, is very straightforward. You're just sending, you know, adding uh, um, a certain amount of Bitcoin and it's putting a Bitcoin address and so forth. But to receive, you need to have a Bitcoin address to give someone else. And here we go. In this particular account, I have um, two different types of account, checking and savings. Savings would be like a cold wallet. Checking would be a hot wallet. In here, in the red, is the, the receiving address. And I can click click on here or put that to my clipboard. I can email it, I can tweet it, or I can create a link like that. Um, so that's what a Bitcoin address is. A Bitcoin address is generated by whatever wallet you happen to be using. And your wallet can generate more than one address. And this is often recommended. Uh, you can sometimes attach specific people or specific recipients to an address or people who are sending you funds regularly and also it's a way of maintaining more privacy so to get a work to get a bitcoin address you first have to get a bitcoin wallet okay now before going i'd just like to say that if you are somebody who's wanting to learn more about bitcoin then i thoroughly recommend that you there's a link below this video you can click on to my website, that's bitcoinreport.info. I've written a report on the whole of the Bitcoin I concept, including a lot of references, recommendations, um, give you a, a great start into the Bitcoin world. Um, so I link below this, or even maybe a button, depending on where you're seeing this video. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.